Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, we're back, finishing off this piece. Um, I didn't get a chance to do a live yesterday when I put the first coat of matte sealer on, the matte finish. Uh, but I thought I'd do a quick live this morning, and this is going to be really, really fast. I've got about 10, 15 minutes to churn this out. Um, thought I'd do a quick live this morning because we're applying the second coat, and I just wanted to have a chat about that. So. Um, we're using Pure Eco Matte Finish. Now yesterday I finished off, I had a couple of like 250ml jars. I finished those off, I had just enough to get a coat over the whole piece. This morning I'm opening a new jar. So it comes in the 600ml and the 250ml. These jars are the perfect size to fit our sponge applicators in. These are a water-based polyurethane. Um, they are very, very durable. I have it on my own um, bathroom vanity, which I keep meaning to take a photo of. Remind me, I need to take a photo of that and show you where we're at. Um, we've been using it for, it'd be about nine months, I think. And um, it's holding up really, really well. There's a few marks on it, but that's purposely done by my children. Uh, but in a bathroom, it's doing really, really well. So I love this finish. Um, it's matte. As you can see, there's like that tiny little bit of shine, but it is really, really beautiful. And it's really only like over here, shining just that little bit where, oh, hang on, where are we? Over this side. <laughs> shining just that little bit where the sun's hitting it. Um, so we've got our polyurethane here, brand new jar. So always give it a good shake and stir. The polyurethane does separate a little bit in the jar. So you do need to make sure that you're giving it a really good stir each time. Sometimes it can go a little bit thick if you've used like half a jar or whatever. Um, I find more with the smaller jars when there's only a little bit left in. Get a little bit lumpy. Give it a really, really good mix. Um, even like those um, electric milk frothers, you know the thick things with the little round bit on the end that froths your milk? Um, they're really good as well. So just mixing it up and making sure that it's all um, evenly distributed. So I've got one of each size still on the shelf. I am taking one off the shelf for myself uh, because I've been using it a lot. I really, really like this finish. Oh, yes, that's it on my cardigan, just where I needed it. Um, so always wipe your lid off very, very carefully. So there we are. Now it's white. It's like a creamy white in the jar. It does go on clear. Um, just let me wipe that off my cardigan. Alright, so before we put that on, and now I've opened it, but I can get that out of the Before we put it on, this is our second coat. So before our first coat, I give it a really light sand and then I wipe it over with a cloth. Um, I've been using tack cloths lately, which I love. Um, and I am, I've tried a few different brands um, because I'm looking at stocking them. So I'll show you that in a minute. It's like a tack, it's like a sticky cloth. Um, and it picks up all that dust. But I give it a light sand before I put my first coat on and now I'm gonna give it a really light sand before I put my second coat on. This is how you get that really nice, smooth finish with your matte, um, with, with any of your top coats. Um, for those who didn't catch our live the other day, this piece I stripped back completely. We painted the side panels in silk finish so we're not putting any sealer over that, only over the timber. And over the rest of it, we mixed a paint wash, which was about 30% paint, 70% water. Um, so we mixed our own paint wash, we put that on. So that was a live two days ago. It is up on our YouTube now as well, so you can catch up on that one. Um, I've, been, I've been really good. I've been getting um, a lot of our lives up, or they're scheduled to post in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm finally sort of catching up. So, what you're going to do before you do your second coat, now I've already done the body of this piece. I'm going to quickly sand over the drawers and the top. You're going to get yourself some really, really fine sandpaper. I've got 1,200 grit. We now stock this. Uh, I've got three rolls left on the shelf. We had like 10 rolls a couple of days ago and they've flown out the door. Um, we now stock it. Beautiful sandpaper. Really good quality, and I find it just keeps going as well. Pop those out of the road for a second, and all you're going to do is you're going to let your sandpaper do the work. 
bring you in a bit closer so you can see what we're doing. Don't mind the mess in the background. <laughs> and we're just really, really lightly going to sand over. It's not really a big deal if you miss bits. We just want to get an overall quick, light sand all over. And this is what's going to help achieve that baby bottom smooth finish as well. Now, if you've watched my lives before, um, or heard me talk about how I finish my timber, I nearly always choose to use hemp oil or a wax, like 99% of the time. Um, this piece, I wanted to do something a bit different, and I wanted to use the matte sealer. I do really, really like this matte finish. Um, sorry, the product is called Matte Finish. It is a sealer, it's a top coat, and it's a polyurethane. It's on our website, it is pure eco-branded. I should specify that, because I call it three different things and everyone gets confused. Um, but this piece, I just wanted to give it a little bit more durability. I can see this piece going into a hallway or going into a bedroom and being quite heavy use as well. So sometimes, like the hemp oil is amazing. It's just as durable, I think, as what um, the polyurethane is. In saying that, I wouldn't put hemp oil in my bathroom. But the polyurethane, I wouldn't have any doubts putting it in a bathroom or kitchen. So it's really, really durable, but I just want to do something a bit different. Really? Sometimes it's nice to mix it up a little bit, and it does give me a really, really nice finish as well. And I just felt like this piece I just wanted a little bit more shine than what I get with the hemp oil. Sometimes the hemp oil can be a little bit matte, um, a bit, little bit too matte. Whereas this is a matte that's still got that tiny little bit of shine, which I really, really like. I'm just going to make sure that I sand those sides. I'm just going to quickly run over the front of the drawers as well. Now, I did run down these sides already, but all this is doing... It's just making sure that it's nice and smooth more than anything. So if you've got a bit of dust or something stuck in your um, in your first coat, this just smooths it out. You can do this between paint coats as well. Um, I generally don't between paint coats, but I do like to do it when I'm top coating. It just gives me a nicer finish overall. Um, now, I already did do the sides. I'm just going to run my hands over them, give them a little feel. And I only sand um, before the first coat of sealer and before the second coat. Never ever sand after your last coat because you can scratch it up. And like on this finish, you're not necessarily going to see it. But if this was over a darker colour, like a black, you're going to see those sand marks. So never ever do it after your last one. Only do it between coats or before you've done any coats. Um, your last coat is your last coat. You don't touch it after that last coat. I'm just running over these sides a little bit again. Just to make sure we're nice and smooth. I had already done them, but here we are. All right. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna grab your tack cloth, which is over here. So, a tack cloth, it's just a, um, see I've been using it quite a lot. It's just like a sticky cloth. Does the packet say what it is? I don't know what it is. Um, no, it kind of feels like a wax, but I don't know. So I've been trying out a few different brands. Um, I'm really, really liking them. It's something that I've used in the past, but never sort of thought much of. Um, but it is something that I've been asked to stock a few times or asked where to get them. So I thought, well, I've got a couple of um, suppliers that have them. So I thought I'd try them out, find the one that I like the best. Um, you guys know I only ever sell stuff that I use and that I love um, and that I can back 100%. So I thought I'd try it. It feels like a wax. It feels like you can feel it on your skin. It's brilliant. It picks up all the dust and gives you that really nice um, finish and just make sure that there's nothing on there. So I just sort of run it over the top. Make sure there's nothing on there. This is one of those things that like, I've always used in the background, but it's never occurred to me to show you the, like this step. Um, and like the sanding step, it's one of those things you don't think to show things like this, but I think it's really good 
Um, I know I've got a lot of beginners that watch these videos. So just something a bit, a bit different. How are we going for time? I'm running out of time, but that's all right. I've got, I'll squeeze out another like five minutes ago, I reckon. All right, once you've done that, it doesn't leave a residue, so you're good to go. You're gonna grab your hot coke. You're gonna grab yourself a spoon. I actually have these spoons. I brought a box of them, um, except like I thought stupidly, there'd be like a hundred spoons in it. No, there's like over a thousand of them. And I'm never going to use a thousand spoons in my lifetime. So these are up on the website in packs of 50 or a hundred. Actually, no, there must be more than a thousand because I've got like, maybe there was like 5,000. I don't know. But I was thinking that there'd be like a couple of hundred. <laughs> so I've got these up on the website. Um, occasionally, they'll just show up in your orders if you're purchasing products like the top coats or anything that I think needs a bit of a stir more than usual. Um, and I like to just chuck in a handful occasionally. So sometimes you'll just get random wooden spoons. Hello, LJ, how are you, love? All right, so that's hot coat. So it's white, it's like a creamy white. It goes on clear, so don't panic about the white. Most top coats are white in the jar. I've even had ones that are like a bluey color. Don't panic, they go on clear. So this is the matte finish in the Puri coat, as always. Don't leave that on your spoon. Grab your sponge or your cloth or whatever you're using to apply it. Wipe it off and use that. Don't waste your product. Um, so these are our sponge applicators. I think they're about $7 on our website. They might be $6. We had this discussion the other day. We have it every time. I don't know how much they are. Jump on the website and find out. <laughs> All right, sponge. I'm going to, no, actually, I see. I've got a habit of dropping jars, but we're going to touch wood and prompt, hope we don't. So these sponges fit perfectly in that jar. And you're just gonna dip it in. So there's quite a lot on there. I'm just gonna wipe off some of that excess. So a little bit's fine, but we don't want like the amount that was just on there. All right, so uh, with top coats, once it's on, you leave it alone. Don't keep touching it. So you sort of pick an area to start with. I'm going to stand here at the front. I'm going to go to the back. I'm short, as you can see. I am short. Um, so I'm going to go at the back, mainly so that I'm not touching fresh top coat every single time that I wipe it off. Start in one corner, work your way across. Easiest way to do it. Spread it out a little bit. Now you can use a slightly damp sponge if you like. I definitely like having a slightly damp sponge. Um, I find it just makes it that little bit easier to apply and it just flows that little bit better. So your first coat and um, for your, just a spray bottle, little spritz, just enough. I love these because you can control how much water comes out. Um, these are also on our website and I do have one in stock as well. I think they're $14. But you know me, don't, uh, don't listen to me when I tell you a price, check it for yourself. <laughs> so a bit more. Um, and that little bit of water on there just helps it flow. Um, it's warming up in here. I do have the heater on in the background, which is why I'm yelling at you today. Uh, because the Facebook likes to pick up all the background sounds, but not my voice. Okay, so as you can see, it will look darker as you're applying, but it will dry back to that lighter colour as well. Um, very similar to the hemp oil, where it does help bring out that grain of the timber, that little bit more. Uh, I personally do find that hemp oil brings out that grain that little bit more than what a matte sealer does but as i said i just wanted to do something a bit different i always use hemp oil or wax and this piece just felt like it needed something different and i was bored i'm bored at the moment discuss this i'm bored everything's been quite plain and boring and nothing too exciting so I'm just very carefully wiping over that edge, just because I got a little bit extra there. This is very, very forgiving, this top coat in particular. So you can sort of touch up those edges a little bit and you don't have to stress too much. Um, but with top coat, once it's on, don't keep touching it. 
So I won't go, like, I wouldn't go back and touch that very back bit. The front bit, maybe, for like another 30 seconds or so, but the back, don't touch again. Over the front of it, so again, loading some out. You don't want so much that's dripping off your sponge. Okay, and it soaks in a bit too, so you won't necessarily always see it. Can you go across the front, down the legs. Just sort of work methodically so you're remembering. You do have to pay a little bit of attention just so that you know where you are. There's something moving in here. Is it me? It's me. My cardigan caught the um, sandpaper. I could just hear something rustling behind me. I've got a mouse that is um, terrorizing me and, and I have added two birds to that list. Um, they've also discovered Joe's shed which is fun. Um, they spent, they've spent all day yesterday terrorizing us. So we've now got two birds as well. They must be a pair because it's always the both of them. It's never just one. So just going across the draw fronts. As I said, working fairly methodically just so that you're not going back over areas that you've already done. And then over the main drawer as well. A little bit more. So as you can see, I'm barely using any top coat. The whole piece overall, I'm probably going to use about 50 mil, approximately. Um, you're really not gonna use much at all. I only had about 20 mil-ish left in my pot from the other day. I'm just gonna do this and I'm not gonna move you for a second. Because I've now got stuff on my fingers and you already know what I'm doing. So again, just working really methodically. I'm not putting any top coat over my paint. I don't need to. Um, my paint is Pure Eco Silk Finish. Uh, it was a custom mix of Fawn and Cloud. Fawn's a beautiful um, brownie grey and then Cloud is a grey based white. Uh, so I'm not Putting, I'm going to do those bits too now while I'm thinking of them because I will forget them. Um, I'm not putting, because it's silk finish, it doesn't need to be sealed. And I also really like the little bit of shine and that slight difference between the matte finish and the paint. It's very, very slight, but there is a difference there in the shine levels. Coming around this end, here we go, I'll move you this time. So again, I'm dipping in my sponge. I'm wiping most of it off, there's barely anything on there, okay? Along, down, back up. I'm coming, give me two seconds. we used a brush for the sealer I'm not that fussed about getting my sealer into all those nooks and crannies so for the legs and I'm gonna bring you down just so you can see oops hang up two legs three legs come up one two sorry three sorry Facebook I know there's no issues I'm just trying to show everyone what I'm doing all right these legs as you can see these are turn legs, so they've got that detail in there. Um, this is created on a machine that spins the wood really, really fast, and they sit there with a blade that cuts into the leg, and it can cut these lines into it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I think stair balustrades, when they've got those turn detail, that's how they create them. Same thing for this. So they've done this whole piece of wood, but this bit they haven't done anything with. They've just turned the bottom. I love a detailed leg. I've got a thing for them. I absolutely love them. So when I did my uh, paint wash, I used a brush to get into all those groups. When I'm doing my top coat, I'm just wiping it on. Um, I'm not as fast about getting into all those legs. 
the biggest thing I'm looking for is making sure that I don't have any puddles of, um, of my sealer. So I just want to make sure as I'm going down that um, I'm catching any big drips. If it's really going to drip, even if there's nothing on your, or there's very, very little on your um, sponge. Sorry, I'm just going to move my bag so I can grab a chair. It feels a bit awkward bending over like that when I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm just looking, making sure that there's no drips. Even when there's like next to nothing on my sponge, you can still get drips because it gets caught. So that's all I'm looking for when I'm doing a bit of detail like this. I always make sure that I get a really, really good coat on legs, particularly around the bottom, uh, where say they're going to get kicked, a vacuum's going to hit them, that sort of thing. So he's already run away, LJ. He's, um, we're very busy today. We are working with um, a couple of disability support workers. So we've got a couple of people coming in and just having a go at like pulling some things apart and seeing what we do, um, just to get them out and about in the community. Um, so we're, he's over there showing them something today and I'm about to go over as well. Uh, that's why I'm in a rush. He has to go in about five minutes. So we're quickly going to do, oops, come over here, uh, the other three legs. I knew you'd stop talking, don't I? So we're just gonna wipe up and down. Again, making sure that I get a really good coat on the very bottom. The overall leg, obviously I want a good coat on, but I do wanna make sure that it is a proper coat on the bottom that I haven't really missed anything. And your second coat, your first coat gets most things, your second coat gets everything else. Um, and this is why we always do two coats. If you feel like you need to do a third, you can. I would say like 95% of the time, a third coat isn't necessary. Unless you have missed glaringly obvious spots or your second coat was a bit patchy and it looks patchy. Most of the time though, and I find this top coat in particular, it doesn't look patchy. Um, even when it is um, a little bit patchy, like I know there were spots that I missed on the top um, yesterday when I put it on, but it didn't look like it. So, um, and some top coats will look like it, some won't. Uh, this one's fantastic for this. Let's go over and do the last two legs. Top coat. You guys, come with me. Don't mind the mess. I need to vacuum this floor desperately because it is disgusting in here. We get so much dirt and dust and then you've just got to have like one day where it's a little bit rainy and then you track in that much um mud oh jesus i almost missed the chair <laughs> Ooh, that was a bit of a heart attack i didn't need to do that this morning so again we're just going around the legs making sure i don't have any drips if you do get a drip it is really really easy just take like a Stanley knife or something similar and carve it off, um, or you can sand it off as well. Up to you which method you use, depending on where the drip is as well, how big it is, um, it really, really is up to you. But drips are generally pretty easy to deal with anyway, but obviously we're going to try and avoid them if we can. Around that one, last bit. So you can see I'm not using much at all. A little goes a really, really long way. Having your sponge a little bit damp also helps it spread that little bit better. Helps it go that little bit further. And I do like a sponge on legs. It, I find it much easier than trying to use a brush as well. All right, that's me done. So that's the second coat done. Um, tomorrow, not tomorrow, not tomorrow, because tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow I'm... Tomorrow I'm doing birthday parties. The kids have got birthday parties to go to. That would be fun. Um, is that a play center on a weekend? I don't think so, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm gonna get this one listed later today. I think it might already be sold. Um, I've just got to confirm measurements with her, but if it's not sold, I'm gonna list it anyway. Like I'm gonna show it off, because I think it's gorgeous. But um, if you're interested, it will be up later today maybe for sale maybe not we'll find out uh have a lovely day uh it is friday so
to enjoy your Friday and I'll see you all next week. Um, what are we doing next week? I've got another sideboard there that I'm thinking about doing quickly, but I've also got a bedroom set that has to be done by October, ideally before October. So I've got about, what are we, we're mid-August. I've got about six weeks still to do it, but I just wanna get it done and out of the road. So I'm thinking we might do a bedroom set with uh, Purico's Carbon. It has to be carbon, I don't get a choice on that. We're doing Purico's Carbon. So I'm thinking a bedroom set. We might start that next week. Um, either way, next time on live, you'll find out. Thank you for joining me. Uh, everything's, I'm uploading everything on our YouTube. Uh, the Six Draw Pine Dresser, that series, is uploading over the next few days. Um, I think one and two are already out. There's six parts in that one. So they're all going up. Uh, uh, the paint wash on this one is already up on our YouTube. Our YouTube is linked below. Uh, I'm really trying to build our YouTube. Um, so please pop over, just give us a subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, um, but it helps us build that audience a little bit more. And if we, if we can, I doubt we ever will, but if we get to and meet all the milestones that YouTube needs us to meet, we might be able to monetize it. And I'm told out of all the platforms, YouTube's generally one of the better ones to monetize. So that's our aim. I highly doubt we'll ever get there, but we're gonna try. Um, that's it. Have a lovely day. My time's well and truly up. Bye everyone.